Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things he'll do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. T Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. We're out in my backyard today because it's a weekend day. It's beautiful and sunny outside, albeit a little bit humid and hot. That's great. I love hot weather. I love hot, humid, sunny weather. It's my favorite kind of weather. And weekends are my favorite days of the week. Saturday and Sunday, the best two days of the week. Why? Because they're not weekdays. Come on, get with the program. Anyways. This is the show that takes ordinary household items, these two liter bottles, screwdrivers, some balloons, a bottle of water to have a drink, garden hose, and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and um, today we're going to continue to work with air pressure. Do another experiment with air pressure. I love the effects of air pressure, or atmospheric pressure as it's also called. To start with, let's take a balloon. We'll try a red balloon. Yes, it's a real balloon. It can be blown up. Let's take our balloon and let's place it into a two liter bottle here. Let's use this one. Let's put it down in the bottle and then let's stretch the neck of the balloon where you blow it up around the top of the bottle leaving it so that the hole is right there in the top. Now let's blow that balloon up inside the bottle. It can't be done. Challenge your friends to try it. It cannot be completed. Let's take a blue balloon however. Also a regular balloon. Let's place that one into this bottle. Now this bottle's different. Why is it different, you say? It's different because I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to punch a hole into the bottom of the bottle. Now let's try to blow up our balloon, shall we? Challenge a friend to use this bottle while you use this bottle. Saw that? We did it. Let's do it out here. See that? Pretty amazing. My dog hears something out there barking. Shh. Shooting video over here. Relax. Okay, this time let's blow the balloon up in the bottle and do something even better. Once the balloon's blown up, let's put our finger over the hole. Look at that, the balloon stays inflated inside the bottle. This plastic bottle isn't very strong and has been collapsing. Hold on a second, I don't want the dog to knock over the camera. That was a close call. Still have the balloon inflated inside the bottle though. Now if we release the hole, magically the balloon deflates. Pretty amazing. Here's something else I've got for you to try. Well, actually, you probably wonder why I have a hose here. Let's do something with the hose. Ready? Let's blow our balloon up, find the hole here, so we can put our finger over the hole once it's blown up. What is that? Hmm. The table's exploding. Put your finger over the hole. Let's fill this balloon. Let's put some water in it. That was good. Let's put some water in this balloon. You might wonder why my shirt's all wet. Well, I did a practice run of this video before actually videotaping it, and that's why my shirt's all wet. Now, see our balloon in here full of water? If we let go with our finger, the water comes out like a geyser. Now, it may stop, but if you tilt the bottle a little bit, whoo, look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. That really shoots out, too. The air enters the hole in the bottle and creates air pressure around the balloon, which squeezes the balloon and pushes the water out the top. Pretty amazing. Let's move on to our drinking bottle. I didn't have it here 
just for drinking. Although it does taste good on this really hot day. I'm all wet now again. That's okay. I've been out here with playing with water and balloons and you're bound to get all soaking wet when you play with water and balloons. Just make sure you do it outside like me. Now, I'm going to take the cap and I'm just going to put it on until it just seats slightly on this bottle. Now, I'm going to take a tap and I'm going to punch a hole near the bottom in the side here and maybe about a quarter of the way over punch another hole and a fourth hole and or a third hole and a fourth hole and get a bug off my leg. Now watch this. The water bug does the water does not leak out of the holes. That's basically because inside the air pressure has now equalized and, and is not allowing any air pressure from the outside to push down on the water on the inside. But leave this lie around and ask one of your unsuspecting victims, a good friend of yours, let's say, or maybe someone you don't like so much. Say, hey, can you hand me my water bottle and give it and can you open it for me too? Like maybe you're playing a video game. And so you don't have time to open it. You don't have two hands. When they pick it up and take off the cap, oh my god! It springs a leak. Water flies everywhere. It's amazing. Ah. But if you put the cap back on, yep, it got me all wet. Like it's going to get your unsuspecting victim all wet. Leave one of those lying around. Somebody lifts the lid off and ah, they get soaked. You can punch as many holes as you want in the bottom of that thing too. I had one that had about probably 15 holes in it. It looked like a giant sprinkler system going off. It's pretty cool. I'm Mr. G. I hope you had fun with today's experiment. See you next time on Do Try This at Home. First of all, let's blow up a balloon. Whoops. Try that again. It scares my dog, can you tell? Water balloon inside of a bottle. Now watch the watch the fun. Release the hole on the outside. And it didn't work at all like I thought it would. Why not?